What do you think is in here? Hmm, now this looks interesting. Come on. What on earth? Wait. No. It can't be. That's John Caleb Bradburton! Or at least it's his head. Wow! Who... Who are you? I haven't seen a real human face in so long. I had given up all hope. Oh my god! It's alive! He's alive! My name's Sierra, sir. I'm your biggest admirer. I love Nuka-Cola more than anything. You... solved your hidden cappy contest. The hidden cappy contest? It all seems so long ago. Another lifetime. That was before I became this monster. Before I was trapped here for centuries to suffer in solitude. This was General Braxton's plan all along. Damn the man. He called it Project Cobalt. In exchange for my weapon design, he would give me access to life-extending technology. I'm such a fool for taking him at his word. He never told me that this would be the price. I can't imagine what you must have gone through. I'm truly sorry, Mr. Bradburton. A... Uh, a weapon? I don't believe it. Why would the genius who brought so much joy to the world want to make something destructive? Genius is restless, madam. It must expand, seek new challenges, and explore new frontiers. So yes, a weapon. It was going to be a quantum-enhanced variant of the standard portable tactical warhead. In fact, the prototypes are stored in this very chamber. You can have them. On one condition. I want you to shut off the power to this machine that's keeping me alive. I want to die. What? No! Yeah, if our places were reversed, I'd probably want the same thing. Then I trust you will honor my wish. You can't kill him. He's a great man. He invented Nuka-Cola, the best thing in the world. Lady, you don't know what a torment it is. Being trapped here alone and staring at the same wall, decade after decade. Now please shut up while I talk to your more rational friend here. I realize that what I'm asking isn't easy, but there's something in it for you. When the power is cut, the door to the prototype storage room will open automatically. Take anything you want. I don't care anymore. Just please, set me free at last. I can't bear this loneliness any longer. Wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. Mr. Bradburton wants to die because he's lonely, right? Well, maybe I could stay with him, you know? Keep him company, give him someone to talk to. He's like a hero to me. Yeah, that's not happening. I want that experimental ammunition. I know, I know, but I have something else that I can offer you instead. At least, hear me out. I've got a limited edition Nuka-Cola jumpsuit. It's really stylish, and not many were made. It's one of my most treasured possessions, but... Well... I'm willing to let you have it. A Nuka-Cola jumpsuit? Ha! <laughs> That's a paltry prize compared to what I'm offering. The choice is yours, but I beg you to honor my wishes. There is no one else who can help me. I sort of feel sorry for him.
the inventor of Nuka Cola. That was the opportunity of a lifetime. Emphasis on was. You wanted the Nuka Cola formula? Here it is. So it really was here. I'm grateful. Don't think this means I've forgiven you. You killed the man who was my greatest hero. A man who revolutionized the soft drink industry and whose creations put smiles on a million faces. Who the hell are you to just walk in here and destroy all that? You're being selfish, Sierra. This wasn't about what you wanted. This was about what he needed. What he needed? I hadn't thought of it that way. It's just that never, not in my wildest dreams, did I think I'd get the chance to talk to Mr. Brad Burton in person. To get an opportunity like that and then have it snatched away. It hit me pretty hard. Still, I can't overlook the fact that for one glorious shining moment, I got to meet the man who invented Nuka-Cola. I'll never forget that. Not ever. And it wouldn't have been possible without your help. Thank you. If you really want to thank me, thank me with caps. A mercenary to the end, huh? I guess you've earned it. Here. I know it's not much, but you really went above and beyond the call of duty. I think I'll stick around here for a while and see what else I can find. By the time I'm done, I'm gonna need a much bigger building to house my Nuka-Cola museum. Hey, Sierra. I wish you could have given me more time with Brad Burton before you cut the power. I can't believe he was alive all that time, stuck in that room. That must have been awful. Oh. 